Heard about Matter or Thread in smart home videos? It's hard not to. They're everywhere. Yeah, it's confusing. So what's really going on? Is Matter just a fancy new name for Thread? Are they competing technologies? What does it all mean? Stick around and I'll break it down and show you why knowing the difference can actually save you time, money, and frustration. Smart home products keep saying now works with matter. Others say thread enabled. Some even say both. Which one actually makes your smart home work better? Because if you've ever tried to connect lights, locks, or sensors and wondered why some need a hub, others don't, and everything claims to be future-proof, there's a reason, and it all comes down to how these two technologies fit together. Let's unravel it. Is matter the same as thread? Time to answer the smart home's most confusing question. What is Matter? Matter is a new open standard for the smart home, a universal language that lets devices from different brands talk to each other seamlessly. It's managed by the Connectivity Standards Alliance, or CSA. Matter officially launched in late 2022 after years of development between Apple, Google, Amazon, Samsung, and other manufacturers. Matter has a simple goal. Before Matter, Every ecosystem spoke a different language. Philips Hue used Zigbee. Lutron had ClearConnect. Apple used HomeKit over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Amazon Alexa devices had their own integration layers and other proprietary systems too. Matter changes that by creating a common set of rules and data formats. Matter works by creating standard definitions for device types, for setup and pairing processes, for security standards, and for communication methods. But matter itself doesn't carry the signals over the air. Instead, it rides on top of existing transport technologies, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, and Thread. Bluetooth Low Energy, or BLE, is still used, but only for initial setup, like when you scan a QR code label to add a device or configure the initial Wi-Fi connection. Think of matter as the language, then Wi-Fi, Ethernet, and Thread are the delivery methods. Thread, matter, smart home standards? Stop being confused by all the jargon and tech talk. I'll help and guide you one-on-one -on -one so you avoid costly mistakes and get the right setup. Use the link for details. So what is Thread? Thread is a low-power wireless networking protocol designed for connected devices. Thread is based on the official IEEE radio standard. The IEEE is the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. Even though it's based in the United States, the IEEE is international in scope. Two of the most famous IEEE standards are for wired Ethernet and wireless Wi-Fi. Thread uses the IEEE 802.15.4 standard, which is the same radio already used by Zigbee. But Thread is built from the ground up to use standard internet software protocols. An added bit of complexity is that some products use standard hardware but run on non-standard or proprietary software. Take Lutron's wireless ClearConnect X, for example. It uses 802.15.4 radio hardware, the same radio used in open standards like Thread, yet it communicates using Lutron's own proprietary software. So is it a standard technology? because it's built on IEEE 802.15.4, or a proprietary one because of the software running on top. In truth, it's a bit of both. Oh, don't think I'm just picking on Lutron either. Philips Hue Zigbee, Ikea Zigbee, and many companies' Z-Wave products often have differences from the official standards or added custom enhancements. Sometimes it does make their products better, but it also turns our desire for absolute plug-and-play compatibility into a consumer plug-and-pray nightmare instead. Thank you so much for watching this video. You are awesome. If you are enjoying this video and want to see more, toggle that subscribe button, automate the bell icon, and get started on your next smart home project. How does Thread work? Thread creates a self-healing mesh network where devices communicate directly with their neighbors. In a true mesh, if one device goes offline, data simply reroutes through another path. 
There's no single point of failure and there's no central hub required to keep the basic mesh functioning. Sounds great, right? But here's the catch. A mesh network by itself isn't very useful. It still needs a way to talk to the outside world, especially to user-facing devices like smartphones, computers, or cloud-connected automation systems. In practice, that means any functional thread network requires at least one gateway or router to bridge the mesh to your broader home network. For thread, that role is handled by something called a thread border router. It sits at the edge of the mesh and acts as the bridge between the thread devices and your home's main network. Are you enjoying this video? By clicking on the like button, you tell YouTube what content to show you. Help me help you and click the like button now. Now here's where things get even more misleading. The thread border router isn't always a separate box. In most consumer smart home setups, it's actually a software feature embedded into existing devices. For example, the Apple HomePod Mini, Apple TV 4K, Google Nest hubs, and some Amazon Echo devices quietly include thread border router functionality. But because the smart home industry have spent the last decade declaring that hubs are bad and you don't need a hub, this crucial detail often gets buried in the fine print. Yes, it's legally disclosed, but it's downplayed, hidden in specs or phrased carefully so they can say no hub required until you realize your system doesn't work unless you have a device that happens to include a thread border router. So when it turns out you do need one and have to buy yet another device, the oops is on you, not them. For the sake of completeness, it's worth mentioning that as your smart home grows and your list of requirements expands, thread border routers, gateways, automation servers, and more, it may start to make sense to look at all-in-one hubs or systems that bundle many, if not all, of these functions into a single platform. But deciding which direction to take, whether to go all in on Apple, Google, or Amazon, embrace the open source flexibility of Home Assistant, piece together your own custom gateways and servers, or opt for a plug and play but proprietary solution like SmartThings from Samsung or Homey Pro, now owned by LG, is a much bigger conversation for another time. I want to be clear, I'm not against Hub. In fact, I'm very much in favor of them. In most smart homes, a solid hub or server isn't just helpful, it's the backbone that makes the system scalable, reliable, and frustration-free. Without it, you're often left with a fragile setup that constantly needs tweaking just to stay functional. What I'm against are the self-proclaimed smart home gurus, the tech bloggers and YouTubers who don't actually install or support these systems, yet keep insisting that hubs are outdated or unnecessary. That advice does more harm than good. In summary, thread strengths, low power, great for battery devices like door sensors or keypads, low latency, responses are nearly instant, self-healing mesh, no single point of failure, and native IP support, no translation needed for basic talking and communicating to other devices. And Thread's limitations. It operates on the crowded 2.4 gigahertz frequency band that's shared with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It's limited range, so coverage depends on device density, low bandwidth, the maximum theoretical speed is only 250 kilobits per second, but it's usually closer to only 100 kilobits per second in actual use. The bottom line, Thread won't replace wired Ethernet or wireless Wi-Fi. It complements it. So why the confusion between Matter and Thread? The confusion is mostly about how people talk about them. Matter doesn't require Thread. Matter software protocols can run over wired Ethernet, wireless Wi-Fi, wireless Thread, and theoretically other network transports too. But at this time, only Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and Thread are used. Some examples of Matter already in use. Matter over Wi-Fi is used in smart plugs, TVs, light bulbs, and bridges connecting older ecosystems. Matter over Thread is already used in motion and contact sensors, 
smart locks, dimmers and keypads, temperature and humidity sensors, and other devices. Now, because many new matter devices also use thread, you often see both listed side by side. That makes it sound like they're interchangeable, but they're not. They work together at different layers of the network stack. Thread is the network layer, how messages move from one device to another. Matter is the application layer, what those messages mean. Network layer, application layer, are your eyes glazed over yet? Lots of people throw around those tech terms as if everybody is supposed to know what they mean. To clear the haze of geek speak, here are a few everyday examples that might help. The highway analogy. Matter is like the traffic rules, stop signs, speed limits, turn signals that all cars follow to safely and predictably get where they're going. Thread is like a particular kind of road, a smaller, efficient, well-managed local express lane that smart devices can take to move data smoothly. In short, matter is the shared language and rules everyone follows. Thread is just one of the specific roads that helps them travel. The language analogy. Matter is like everyone agreeing to speak the same language, say French, once the standard for global diplomacy, so devices can clearly understand each other, just like diplomats negotiating across borders. Thread is like the method of communication, whether it's a fax, phone call, walkie-talkie, or messaging app. It's simply the channel they use to talk, but not the language being spoken. In short, matter is the common language. Thread is just one way to carry the conversation. Why matter is important or why it matters. Yeah, resist at least one matter pun. Together, matter and thread are solving three of the smart home's biggest problems with standardized solution. Reliability. Local control means devices work even if the internet goes down. Compatibility. No more choosing between ecosystems. Everything speaks the same language. Simplicity. Setup is faster and adding new devices is consistent across brands. This doesn't mean older technologies like Bluetooth, BLE, Zigbee, Z-Wave, or others are obsolete. They'll coexist for years. But matter and thread are laying the groundwork for more open, flexible, and resilient smart homes. So matter and thread are not the same, but they're designed to work together. Matter is the universal language, and thread is one of the best messengers delivering that language locally. Matter makes your smart home more compatible. Thread makes it faster and more reliable. So now you know matter and thread aren't the same, but they need each other to make some newer devices work. So what do you think? Are you going to use matter, thread, or other technologies in building your smart home? Let me know your feedback in the comments below. I read all feedback and try to reply to as many as I can. Now you know how matter and thread fit together, but what about matter on its own? Watch what you need to know about matter before you buy to get the full picture before upgrading your smart home.